what I'm going to do is uh, uh, just simply uh, try and uh, not summarize, but uh, do a quick you know, synopsis of what uh, uh, Mugambi has presented. Uh, what we do is, when we have this event every year, is we start with an organizing committee. Uh, King Asian Forum, Mawaz, KHRC, CGD, Greco, Pomoja Trust, Katiba Institute, and so on, and among others. Uh, the uh, idea that uh, initiated uh, in the way the government is described uh, with the uh, Kenya National Commission on <coughs> Human Rights, that is uh, George Barara and uh, Katiba Institute with uh, White Point Christie. Uh, and then when we have the planning committee for this event, uh, the contribution and development of that idea further uh, became an interesting and creative task of a smaller, smaller core group. Now, the components uh, of this initiative uh, and the concept paper is uh, formulated, but it's still in the development process, is uh, to have uh, uh, assessments, two assessments. One uh, in the short term, as soon as possible, and one in the long term, that means to be the results are released by June next year. Uh, and this uh, commemoration of the event then got integrated into this concept. So in fact, that's why it was the theme. And we are now initiating it, and we hope it will mature. Uh, now the, uh, the short-term assessment will take the form of a, a conference, hopefully for two days. And, um, and this again will be the assessment of all the chapters of the Constitution. Uh, using uh, the type of the traffic light barometer of green, red, and amber, in the way Mugambi had, uh, had uh, 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 described. Uh, just to give you an illustration on uh, uh, to answer the question what achievements have been made so far and what challenges hampered the implementation what's your general assessment of implementation and would you rate uh, rate uh, as green meaning adequate implementation amber meaning inadequate implementation and red meaning uh, poor or no implementation so when Greece assessment has gone, been given, how do we sustain the, the same? And where Ember assessment has been given, how do we move to the, uh, to the green? And where red assessment has been given, where do we move? What must we do to move to Ember and then green and then uh, we help to probably to agree. Now this is the idea of the, the first assessment which takes the form of the two-day workshop. This workshop is being scheduled uh, in parallel with uh, mobilizing resources. Uh, and if uh, we succeed, in the commitment of the resources, uh, then I think we can expect this workshop for the short-term assessment along that framework fairly soon, hopefully next month. So it's, it's meant not to, to be uh, prolonged. Um, now, uh, this is uh, a collective effort and uh, 
when we had the planning committee, we developed a, a model of how we're going to deliver this through participation of the, um, uh, the various uh, CSOs and, if necessary, other actors. So, what we did was to uh, map against the, the chapters of the Constitution a focal point organization. Uh, and then that focal point organization uh, mobilizes others working on it. Uh, so citizenship, bill of rights, land and environment, leadership and integrity, representation of people, uh, legislature and so on. Uh, uh, executive, judiciary, dual government, uh, public finance, public service, national security, constitutional commissions and independent offices and so on. Uh, so organizations that are uh, have a good handle on this, uh, the idea is that they should uh, play the role of the focal point and then get the others who are working on it to constitute uh, panels. So when we have the workshop, we are not trying to start new research. Uh, we want to get uh, the green light and amber assessment, Mugambi, if uh, the barometer, uh, through what we already know. Uh, whether we have documented or whether it is something that we know but we haven't documented. Uh, now, out of that workshop then will be the start and what the guidance is provided by the workshop to start a very comprehensive and a substantial audit in a collective way with a view to release it by June 2017. So that's now the the sort of uh, uh, short-term and so-called uh, long-term uh, assessment. Uh, but there is also another idea, and that is to get an assessment on the uh, on the the, the the on the citizens' opinions and and uh, and view on this and. Uh, so there is a part of this concept note uh, uh, to do a national poll survey on the status of the implementation of the Constitution as well. Um, now, uh, I, so this is a process, uh, I guess, after the event here and the discussion which will actually help us to move forward. And uh, when the planning committee convenes again, um, taking into account what we uh, share today, uh, then uh, come out with uh, a more uh, concrete uh, way forward. So, uh, uh, Mugambi, I think uh, that's really a synopsis of what you, you, you have said. Huh? The, uh, although it came about as an interaction with the Indian National Commission of Human Rights, George Morara and Waikwa and Mugami, uh, then uh, very soon uh, uh, the usual suspects all got roped in. Uh, and, and that's this, this, this event. So, uh, um, now, so therefore, given the idea of the audit, uh, what we thought is that uh, uh, we begin uh, with uh, some uh, uh, assessment, very free-flowing, uh, no formal presentations, just to begin to get into it. Uh, 